Today's episode is brought to you by Brilliant. The interesting thing about telling stories is that they only make sense in retrospect, and it makes no sense to forge a story into life when we're living it. And perhaps we see this point the clearest when we travel. The travel stories are the hardest to write, and this video is a testament to that. The work isn't in documenting everything per se, but in linking everything together in a cohesive way, and I'm convinced that I can only tell a good story about a certain place once I'm out of there, which is why right now I'm writing about London and Dublin in Paris. The story that I'm about to tell started all with my thesis submission and graduation, and all of a sudden the old patterns that I used to run on, the old ways of validating myself, they all stopped working. The path in front of me disappeared, and I was forced to start from scratch, from questions like, what's the most crazy thing that I can achieve in the next month? And my answer to that is, I'm going to spend Bloom's Day, which is the day celebrating the novel Ulysses, in Dublin on the 16th of June, 2024. And this is that story. So, this is probably going to be one of the last video clips that I'm going to film in Melbourne because I'm about to board a plane to London and from there, uh, that's going to kick off her entire adventure in Europe and I will update you guys as we go because, um, you know, a lot of it is still pretty chaotic. Also, can we just appreciate this radical act of downsizing here? I managed to pack three weeks worth of stuff in this one tiny suitcase. Just got to the airport, checking in. of my airbnb also what is this elevator can we just appreciate <laughs> what is this elevator holy cow i need to pull it a little harder <laughs> holy shit <sighs> press two <laughs> oh my god this is crazy man first day in london so here we are finally arrived after that whole freaking gauntlet run. My Airbnb, cute little room with, um, well, Union Jack themed everything. A couch, a lamp for me to read, some art, and check out this view. It's really beautiful. So we're back with the big camera. My hair is absolutely messed up after, you know, 24 consecutive hours of being, um, being in the air. And um, after I tidy this entire place up, after I get myself settled, we're gonna go meet up with a friend that you've probably seen somewhere on my profile before. So he's one of these long time old riding pals. So we're gonna go catch up with him after I tidy myself up. So yeah, after a brief shower, I'm officially in my um, Londoner's outfit. And of course, we can't forget about these, um, I don't know, bum bags. Apparently they're a good idea if you're traveling through one of these densely populated cities. The rule of thumb, never keep anything in your back pockets because whatever you put in there, they're not gonna be yours by the end of the day. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Hello. god! How's it going? <laughs> not bad, not bad. How are you? Oh, I just took a piss up. <laughs> so we have reunited after three years. It's been a long time. I know. Long. 
And we're, what are we gonna eat? What's the first meal in London? His favorite restaurant in the world. <laughs> McDonald's. Yes. Uh, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. London's a very beautiful city. Yeah, so what are what are some of the favorite things? Your favorite things about London? Favorite things about London? Yeah. I, c I think of it as like a raging bull. Yeah. Because London can London is very easy can dominate you. Yeah. But you, to thrive in London, you've just got to grab it by the balls, <laughs> get on top of it and dominate it. By the sack. By the sack. <laughs> and London will open up so many possibilities for you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but you can never tame the bull. No. All right. So it takes a lot of energy. Let's get this fucking burger to restore yeah. our energy. So where are we now? We're in Five Guys. Which is? A premium version of McDonald's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be the judge. Right, Robin's trying his first friend, uh, Five Guys chip. Like everything else here is beige. Like breakfast is beige, beer is beige, everything's beige. Holy crap. That's really good. How much fries you have in there? So full. <laughs> Oh my god. Walking in London. Hey. hey. <laughs> Where are we now, Jay? So we're in Big Ben. Big Benny boy. So you know all these things turn into penises during the day? <laughs> oh. So we're, we're in a national theatre in London. Oh, we're out of where place happens. We're gonna get a coffee and then we're gonna plan our day trip. <laughs> Living a big time, massive, innit? Yeah, this guy's still not, not awake. No. <laughs> what have you got for me, Jay? So I brought in my book, <laughs> Dear Stranger Origins. Ta-da! And actually, this is set during the similar time when we met. Yeah. So <laughs> now we're doing, now we're doing like the other way around. I'm on your turf now. Yeah, you're on my turf. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. so we're gonna hit the streets mm -hmm. and have a jibber jabber time. <laughs> Just like how we used to do it. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at this. That's so good. It's formatted great. It's a fucking nightmare to do. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Are books here expensive? Uh, yeah, that's why I go to second hand shops. Yeah, honestly. Oh my god. Look at all these bits and bombs. <laughs> so, uh, how much was your Coca Cola? £3.20. And uh, how do you feel about that? Which is about six dollars. Yeah. And and how was the lady who served you? Honestly, she was very honest, and we got on the same wavelength because we both love complaining. So yeah. But let's first sip of our six dollar coke. And uh, how you think? How you find in London? Give me the deets. I love it. I really love it. Why? Um, everyone complains, and I, I love complaining too and no one gives a shit about you and I feel like I don't exist which is the best way to move through the streets and I love the landmarks and I love how snobby the people are it's great <laughs> Maybe I should shoot your documentary. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Look, look at that guy. Yeah. Look at that guy. Look how lonely he looks. Yeah. He's trying to take over the world. So now we're at Tate Modern, one of the greatest modern art museums going. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that means anything, but it's a good building. Let's look at some art. <laughs> Let's look at some art. Let's go look at a shit in a box. Yeah. So where the hell are we now? Room exhibition, which is very interesting. You can see us here. Somebody who's painted themselves silver and decided to get very drunk and roll across a canvas and then they've like maybe put their dip their tongue in some blue paint and said, Look at it. Wait, 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 try looking it because you're on frame. Wait, lower your lower yourself a little bit. Yeah. Go forward. No, go forward. Go forward. Down. Yep, lick it. 
So? So we're going to walk across the Millennium Bridge to uh, say... I'm probably going to get crucified, I actually don't know what it is. It's, it's the thing that everyone films on British news television. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's a building that looks pretty. Yeah, so behind me is... Like, yeah. like the famous shot from every TV series setting like England. It's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? It's good. Let's let's walk let's walk this walk. So go on, try the Greg's, the sausage roll, some of where is the... Uh, oh, so. I'm gonna leave that one to interpretation. It's very English. You know what they say, all English people look alike. So, here's my brother. <laughs> A more wholesome version. He looks exactly like you. Really? Yeah. Oh god. Okay, where are we? We're in a we're in a place where there's lots of people. Yep. Uh, that, that pub's busy. <laughs> right next to it. That's oh my god, it's so noisy. Yeah. Baker Street. Hey. We're at Baker Street. Uh, let me film you. Nah, we're good. It's two two one B Baker Street. Transform the city, mate. Like. Beep beep beep. With art. Beep beep. <laughs> and it's wobbling around. Oh yeah, it's like leaning tower. As the night began to fall, I realized that this will be my last night in London. Every time we visit a new city for a short amount of time, it's always accompanied by a sense of sadness. We didn't get to see all that the city has to offer, nor could we comprehend all its depth in just a few days. And the best thing we can do is to let those feelings linger and move on and move on and move on again. Oh my God. The next morning, knowing that my flight to Dublin would be in a few hours, I packed up all my things, said a final goodbye to Jay, visited a few bookshops, and then boarded the train that would take me to the airport to go to Dublin to do what I set out to do in the first place. And this is where things started to get interesting. This is one of the most chaotic airports I've ever seen. And guess what I found? Oh my god. I see people on the other side of the street. Body spitting them out. Buckle door. Look at that thing. Hello, it's me again. Still coming at you from this tiny little room with no air conditioning. That's why I'm a little bit sweaty, so don't mind me. But I hope that you've enjoyed this new format for the next few episodes. I'm going to document my travels. And as we all know, traveling could get pretty tedious and pretty lonely sometimes. And one of my favorite things to do is to always keep learning, even when I'm on a trip or even when I'm exploring all these different countries. And this will lead me to today's video sponsor, Brilliant. In short, Brilliant is your quickest introduction to subjects in science science, mathematics, and technology. And instead of sitting in a classroom for hours on end, Brilliant emphasizes learning by doing. With thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and artificial intelligence. And these hands-on and practical lessons that Brilliant offers is going to offer you a chance to build your problem-solving skills so you can apply these skills to other areas of your life. And it's also going to give you a really good sense of learning routine so you can continue to engage with this lifelong process of learning about new things, always being open, and always being curious. And one of the classes that really started to interest me as of late is Brilliant's class on large language models. As someone who's really invested in the future of the humanities and literature and whatnot, I really want to observe what kind of connections there are between literature and artificial intelligence. Those interconnections really fascinate me, and I think the whole point of an education in anything is to replace fear with curiosity. And this includes AI, by the way. So if Brilliant sounds good to you, and if you like some of the things that I've talked about here, as lucky viewer of this channel, head to the link in the description down below to receive your first 30 days free trial for Brilliant. And also with the link, you can get a 20% off on your annual subscription. Thank you, Brilliant, for making mathematics, technology, and art artificial intelligence more accessible and thank you for watching part one of this entire travel series and I'm very very excited to show you what's about to happen in part two. Anyway, Robin Walden here. Have a great day, have a great night wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.